Alright, brand new scene. Now there's some things that you should know about uh, setting up a brand new scene and that's, you know, the position of the camera and all those other little things. Like, for instance, right now I have a camera in here and if I went to delete it, that would be helpful because then I can drag my first person controller in which already has a camera attached to it. That's just to uh, make it a little bit easier to manage. My main camera, I can push that back to make it third person. Okay, so right now I'm seeing this. All right, now as far as terrain goes, well now I know my position in the world, but where's that position at? Uh, it seems to be the position of some odd coordinates. So I'm going to manage to put this at zero for positioning, and then I will position it right in the middle of Unity. Next, let's create some terrain. Okay, this time you can see that the terrain is offset. So I'm going to move the terrain so it makes more sense. Then I'll just take my brush here and make some really small indents and stuff. Just so I know where I'm at in the world. A horizon. So now I have this. Next, what I want to do is take and make a light and rotate that around. All right, so now I have everything set. I have lights, everything. Uh, would be nice if I have uh, something on the train itself, some kind of material in nature so I can get another reference point. So that is painting, edit textures, add textures, and I'll add a texture that looks like good dirt. There we go. So now I have a reference point. And this is a low res scene, but that's all right. That's all we need. All right, now I'm going to save this scene as, and I'm going to save it within the standard assets directory. That way it'll pull it up. I'll call it push. All right, now I had a script. Okay. And first off, what we'll need is some kind of thing to push around. Um, in this case, you know, I'm going to show you that it's possible to bring in something from Maya. And all I'm going to do is quickly just make a polygon and then hit F to go back into the world. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. It's not about scale right now. It's just about just getting it out. So export selection. And I'm going to export this under users, shared, unity, Pushing objects, assets, standard assets, new folder, and call it objects. Remember, keep everything very neat and orderly. And we'll call this box. All right, sweet. Now we got everything we need. Here's my box. It should be within objects. There we go. Here's box. And it's about the same. Again, if you want to just make it a little easier now that you know where, how to zero things out, I can zero this out and that will put it right in the center of the scene and then I can just move it up and then move it over a little bit and there we go. File, save. Now, a little things that I are, am going to give you. If you're careful and if you're a good observer, you can pick these up and I'll show you how to get these next little parts of the project. If I open the project back up, I'm going to look at the the crate. Because I looked at the scripts attached to the actual um, player character, but if I look at the crate, I have things like box collider, rigid body, and configurable joint. Well, if you looked and poked around a little bit ahead of time, you'll find that those are in here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and open a project up, the pushing objects. And I'm going to assign those very same things to that 
that control that box so so here we go I got three things physics rigid body I got uh, physics box collider and what box collider is is basically making it solid all the way around so it doesn't fall through the floor and the next thing is uh, a configurable joint which does that also um, it, that way it doesn't fall all the way through the floor if it just had a box collider it would and there we go so I got that and I can walk up to it but I can't push it yet okay all right next let's look at that script let's go to my first person and look at the script that came in it was under 2d and I have um, character controls and here it is push platform okay if I push the platform over here and hit continue I now have this and I remember back there it had a push rate of 75 I'm not gonna leave it I'm not gonna put it at 75 I'm gonna put it at 1 I think the push power is going to be reliant on the scene size so I'll put it at 1 alright so what happens here let's hit play and find out if it's just that easy okay now see this at the bottom of the screen I'm getting this thing that says null exception object reference so I know it's a script issue and it brings me into the script now I'm gonna teach you a little trick here um, basically what it comes down to is this is Java and I keep in mind I know a little bit about Java just enough to be dangerous but I know that it's trying to if you see body velocity it's trying to say push with move speed and never move more than walk speed well I want to stop that and put an absolute value in there so what I'm going to do is body velocity equals push speed times power and this is where it gets complex controller speed equals walk speed so if I eliminate the complexities of it and leave it with an absolute um, and then save that scene starts out and now I could push the object it's as easy as that you just gotta think critical critical thinking is everything with this stuff so that is how you uh, basically build a scene and have a guy push around an object and it's the lowest form of course because it's got two pieces of geometry pushing each other but you learn something that way alright on to the next tutorial